Hello friends, this is Lindsay. I want to welcome you back to my channel. I have some journals to share with you today. These are created by one of my artists. Her name is Libby Moore, and I'm excited to share them for you and offer them for sale in my shop. You can find the link below. Or if that interests you and you'd like to become one of my artists, I hope you'll also send me an email and we can chat about that. Okay, so we're going to start off with this, which is really neat. I haven't opened it yet. I'm curious. I love the fabric spine. This feels like a wallpaper border. Beautiful. It's a wonderful use of like a wide wallpaper border. So let's see what it is when we open it. This is big. It's a large journal. What a beautiful wallpaper border. Okay. This is called Big Fun. There are 60 pages. She's used various digitals from my shop which is Nevermore Creation 17, various free digitals, and then pastel lines from Rebecca Powell Designs. I, I'm i pretty sure this is the one I use all the time. Um, love this pastel lines. I will know once I see it for sure, but I have mentioned it in my videos before. So see how the wallpaper folds over the front here, and you can see the sweet little hummingbird, the bumblebee, the clover, the frog. This label is my floral journal label. Um, I love how big it is for a big journal, and you can print them lots smaller for smaller journals. Okay, so interesting. I'm looking at the signatures. Each signature is in encased in, come on, <laughs> in fabric. Huh. So you could kind of have different, my word, words are just going, whoo. <laughs> sections is the word I'm looking for. Different sections. Okay. Pretty. Got music paper, graph paper. This one is from Peaceful Poppies. Oh, look at the little hedgehog cluster. Can you see it? That's so cute. Love it. This is William Morris Ink Saver. I like how the pages are bigger. Got some pockets here with lots of little journaling cards and bits. Would be an excellent glue book if you enjoy gluing on your favorite things. This is from Postage Due. Look at all these little tags that go different directions. That is fun. One, two, three, and four. Plus a journal card here in the back. This is parchment paper. That's from William Morris Ink Saver. So is that one. I love, because it's. Um, I designed it to fold it in half, but you really miss how beautiful that whole flourish is. I like seeing it on a whole page. We have a double belly band here with some journal cards. This is Canadian Wildflower Script Journal Cards. She just printed it large, really pretty. Yes, these are the Rebecca Powell Pastel Lines. I got them, I believe I paid for them on Etsy. And I love them. They are perfect when you just need a lined background. And then there's so many different colors that you can really mix and match with any journal you're creating. This one is Antique Textiles or ancient textiles. And I think it's from the first pack. I have two packs of them. We have Ledger. This one is from Abandoned Beauty. Oh, I love the oval tag. I always forget to do oval shapes. Some of that same fabric, but it is a pocket. This one is from Perfect Pastels. I forgot. This is Wilhelmina. Wilhelmina. Stationary. Look, there's another little hedgehog. This one, this is from Limberlost. I love the little woodland there. Really cute. That's a pretty journal card. There's another Canadian wildflower script. Some handmade type paper. This is um, from Modern Maiden Image Club, which is retired, but you can find it in Ultimate Lifetime Collection. Or you can message me if you absolutely have to have it, and I will uh, send you a payment link 
for the retired club. How pretty. A little writing board. And then a wallpaper pocket in the back and she has extra lace and tickets and playing cards and scraps. Very fun, Libby. Lots and lots of fun. Could have so much fun playing in that. Then she sent us a flamingo journal. How fun is that? I love this flamingo with that gold lace. It just really glitzes it up. Okay. This one is called Fun Birds. She has used Flamingo Fancy. That's one of my kits. Parrot Isle. It's one of my paper packs. Modern Maiden. We were just talking about that. And then the Pastel Lines again from Rebecca Powell. So this one is from Flamingo Fancy. And some of these, I think she probably used, she may have used um, some other digitals too. I'm not sure. Cute. This is from Parrot Isle. Look at that. A little embroidered piece. Flamingo Fancy Journal card there. I love the tropical colors. These are from Parrot Isle. There are 24 pages in Parrot Isle. Both Limberlost and Parrot Isle are kind of created to be double-sided paper packs. So 12 pages, double-sided. Of course, you can print them single and you would have 24 different designs. I think she has a paper pad in here as well. Copy dyed paper, Flamingo Fancy. Ooh, that is a cute washi tape. Little toucans and flamingos and pineapples. That one's from Parrot Isle. So is that. Some beautiful blue paper. I like how you called it fun birds. And you have all different kinds of birds in here. It's just a really fun, I think that's a paper pad. Tropical themed journal. Little coloring page there. Beautiful colors. Flamingo Fancy. So it's that one. Parrot Isle. Cute little fabric flip. Ooh, we have a pocket of goodies. Perfect way to do goodies. When you want to add goodies, if you're one of my artists and you want to add goodies for your whoever purchases your journal, look at what she did here. She printed um, Parrot Isle as journal cards. Love it. They look so good as journal cards and some Flamingo Fancy. Amazing. Anyway, you get a whole bunch of goodies in here. Um, you want to put them in an envelope or a baggie that fits flush inside the journal, just like she has here. That way nothing gets crushed or falls out. It is just a beautiful little bag full of goodies so you have a ton to play with. I really love this one. It is so much fun. So this one is Fun Birds if you're interested in that one. And next is Squeeze the Day. This is a clip. Isn't that fun? Fabric. Very pretty. Love the size too. Okay, let's see more info. This is probably a challenge journal. Yes. Squeeze the day. So we're finishing up showing these challenge journals using luscious lemons, pink and yellow bees, fruit ads, Canadian wildflower journal cards, and then she added in pastel lines, which like I said, works with pretty much any journal. What a cool size. Ooh, pretty. There's luscious lemons. Some more of that. That is so pretty. I don't know if, I don't know if she did that. I'm thinking she might have done that. I was thinking she cut it off of something, but that looks like she was practicing slow stitching. Super beautiful. Love the yellows and the blues. The little paper ribbons. Little fabric flip, music paper. Gorgeous. These are from Modern Maiden. And you can see they go really well with the color scheme. Yellow paper, some journal cards in the middle. 
love the little mason jars. Um, I think these are in Modern Maiden as well. There's that little four pocket tag again. She just has ribbons on the ends of those. Oh, how cute. That goes really well. Double belly band, and these are the Wildflower script. The fruit ads. Lots of places to write. And a big lemon tag in the back. That is adorable. So cute. Perfect challenge journal. And then you got that big flower clip, which of course you could clip somewhere in your craft room, leave it on the journal, lots of things you could do. And then the last journal she sent is this one, which I believe is also a challenge journal. I really love this fabric. It looks like colorful paint strokes. And it says once upon a summertime. And then it looks like she printed over it summer days. And this is called Summer Days. She's used pretty much those same digitals right there. Fun. So we may be wrapping up the summertime, but that doesn't mean it's a bad time to purchase a summer journal because maybe you've done things this summer that you want to start. Oh, look at that. Yeah, I'm pretty sure she did this. Look at how pretty that is. It's kind of like the Kantha quilts with that straight stitching. Oh, a little surprise. So cute. So you might want to start journaling about your summer now, or you may want to get it so you have one ready to start next summer. Or maybe you just love this theme. Here's a Modern Maiden, um, Thousand and One Ways to Have Fun This Summer. Lazy Summer Days. This one's from Flamingo Fancy. It is just a ton of fun. You've got to take the lemons with the sunshine. That is from Canadian Wallflower Script Journal Pages. She even has some July 4th in here. How fun is that? So perfect for journaling about your summer or to set aside for your next summer. But you've put so many beautiful things in here. You can see a lot of Modern Maiden. This one is Sweet Summertime. Fruit ads. And she printed the fruit ads on top of the Luscious Lemons. Oh, so pretty. What is this? Oh, yep, a little match booklet. Modern Maiden. Colors are so fun, Libby. Got some more in here. Dream of a Better Tomorrow. Start Somewhere. These are both Modern Maiden. I hope that some of you who might not have Modern Maiden will either purchase my Ultimate Lifetime so you get pretty much everything or you send me a message or an email so I can help you get the retired. It has, oh, I don't know how many. It has dozens of journal cards and journal pages and elements, all in a really bright, fun, more modern type theme. All right. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you have a lovely day. If you'll take a second to give this video a thumbs up, if there was something about it that you enjoyed. And then also, I hope that you will check to see if you are subscribed. And if you are not, click that subscribe button. I would love to have you a part of my YouTube family. I hope your day is fantastic.